Hi. All right, here we go. And already I'm popping into the mic. I'm trying to make sure you guys can actually hear me. So what I am doing here is I am doing a an art journal hop video with Mike Deacon, who is fabulous. I'm sure all of you already know who he is. If you're subscribed to me, you should be subscribed to him. And someone kind of new to the YouTube world, uh, Paul Browning, and he is amazing. I've been following uh, his blog for a while now, and I don't follow many people's blogs, so check him out. So this is um, an art journal page that just had uh, Gesso squeegeed on haphazardly, and these are some permanent distress ink sprays. And I made these. There's a video on my channel with these, and I really love them. That's what the uh, teal color is. It's peacock feathers. And this is Dilutions and Funky Fuchsia. I'm using the sprayer and just very uh, slowly pushing down that pump to slowly release the color. And if you dab up the color, it gets super vibrant. I don't know why it did that, but it did it every single time. I don't know, but it was amazing. So, uh, yeah, fun, fun little thing there. So I'm just using a uh, spatula, and I am scraping on a bunch more gesso. I'm going to do this a few times in, in layers. So while I do that, I will tell you, if you are offended by nudity, if you are offended by the human body in which all of us sit watching this video, you should feel free to click away right now, because then this page and this entire hop is not for you. All of us boys were talking on Facebook, and we decided, and I'm starting this whole cycle over, by the way, right here. I added some more of that teal and made purple, and now I'm add adding more fuchsia, so just layering. We were talking on Facebook about how there's not much nudity in art journal pages, which is fine. I mean, there doesn't have to be. I mean, we're not talking gratuitous nudity here. We're talking just appreciation of the human body. So we decided to do an art journal hop involving nudity. Um, so I, I got excited because I'm like, yeah, yeah, I, I love the human body. I think it's beautiful. And I went back and forth for a long time on what image I was going to use. I had a stack of them. So as you can see, I just uh, dragged some gesso down with a palette knife. And then I didn't get this on, on footage, but um, I turned the art journal page clockwise to the right, 90 degrees, and I journaled in uh, hot pink. You can't read what it says, but I'm just talking about, like, nudity and the human body and... Uh, it was very on topic for this page. And that was the Aqua Monolith black pencil, and I'm just going to add some water to activate it. And I'm going to spray the whole thing with a crystal coat sealant. So anyway, we were talking about nudity, and we're like, let's, let's do something and kind of just shake up the art journal world. You know what? If people don't like it, people don't like it. It doesn't matter. It's our art. We can do what we want. So uh, we did, and I'm really glad we did because I think it, it gave me a little bit of inspiration. I, as many of you know, I've been kind of missing, and um, I'm spattering a little bit of white gesso, watered-down white gesso, and now I'm edging in archival ink. And um, this gave me a little bit of inspiration to get in and clean up my studio, which is a mess, and uh, not so much anymore. We cleaned out a bunch of stuff, and Jen called me a hoarder. Rude. So, um, yeah, I found a whole bunch of naked pictures of people, and I decided which one I was going to go for. So, I'm doing some stamping. This is just a little Studio G white stamp pad. You don't really see it, um, so didn't need to do it, but you know what whatevs. Then I'm going to grab a scripty stamp with archival. So, uh, so I did have a stack of images, and most of the images I had were of naked men in high heels, because I, I have this obsession with high heels. I love High heels, and I think there's something beautiful about the juxtaposition of an of an extremely virile, masculine man in something extremely feminine as high heels. So you still might see a page with one of those pictures because I still love those pictures and I have them. So we shall see. So, but the page I ended up or the picture I ended up going for was, as you saw, my kid was waving was this picture of Gaga, and it was a picture from a Supreme, which is I guess like a skateboarding company. This is a couple years old, um, a Supreme ad, and uh, she's holding a skateboard or a, a snowboard or a, some sort of board. 
and she's in these fabulous Noritaka Tatihana shoes. They are custom made, and they're extremely tall, and yes, these are the ones she fell in in the Heathrow Airport in London, uh, but she was wearing them in black, and I think these are called the uh, Lady Vase? Anyway, I love Noritaka Tatiana. They are just so crazy cool. So anyway, so I took this picture, and I'm like, ooh, she's naked, but she's kind of covered up, and I think I can do something with this. So, and she's got a great ass. I mean, look at her booty. I mean, come on. So, um, yeah, so I cut that skateboard out. I cut fussy, fussy cut. <sighs> we need another word for that, people. Find another word. Comment it tell me what word we're going to use, because I can't with that word. I just can't even. So, anyway, um, I then took a white paint pen, and that was a Montana paint pen, and I just scribbled across that line. And just, you know, I, I used the crystal coat again to seal down that black line, which was a water-soluble uh, pencil. I didn't want it to move. So now I'm creating the banner that Gaga is going to be holding, since I cut out the skateboard, which she was holding. And um, I thought this was fun to kind of play with the fact that she was holding something, and let's have her hold something that I want her to hold instead of a stupid, ugly skateboard. So, and this is just a piece of scrap white cardstock. Uh, so yeah, so anyway, um, back to the other images I might be using. Yeah, I really like that ju juxtaposition between the masculine and the feminine, and actually that's why I picked the colors in this page, the pink and the blue. Uh, it was because I, wa I was going to do a double spread with a guy on one side and a girl on the other, and I had a feeling the girl would be Gaga. Um, but then her shoes were hot pink, and she was very blasted out white in the photo, so I was like, you know what, this needs to be the focal point of this page. So that's how I chose my little Gaga, who is coming out with new music soon. Hashtag just saying. So these are some recollection stickers, just little alpha stickers, and I am putting the phrase, which of course was, born this way. Yep, you know my paws are up when I say that, because, hello, born this way. I'm getting a tattoo eventually, one day, on my, I'm thinking on my forearm, like, I don't know, along the bone on the outside of my arm, like if you follow your pinky down to your elbow, right there, it says born this way. That's the plan. So um, I put them down, and I just stuck part of it so that way it didn't go anywhere, and then um, I pulled them back up and put them where I actually wanted them. So as you can see, now she's holding a little banner, and it says, Born This Way. So I did end up cutting the two parts of her apart. The, the top half and her legs get cut apart, so that way it's easier to glue down. And this is a Stabilo pen, and I am just very scribbly. This is a very uh, like graffiti-looking street art kind of vibe page, because there's lots of like journaling as, as textures and lots of scribbling. So I just scribbled right around the letters just to tie it in with the rest of the page. And then I took this pink pen, and I was just going to edge the banner, but I thought that looked a little clean. So I did the same thing, kind of got real scribbly right along the edges. And I was like, well, I could do a fishtail cut on the ends, and then I thought, mm, or I could just tear it, which again leads into that, or lends to that, uh, that whole grungy street art vibe. So I thought that was kind of cool. Now this is FW Pearlescence, I want to say, and I think it's just the black, and it's getting really gunky. I'm telling you guys, I have not been in my, my studio in months. And uh, so when the guys asked me to do this, I was a little hesitant because I'm like, I don't really do anything anymore. And it's not that I don't want to. It's that I don't have the drive. And I don't know why. I've kind of lost it. So I don't know. This kind of helped, though. I will tell you, this helped. So I'm glad I decided to. So this is some uh, Liquitex Fluid Matte Medium. And this image is printed on a, uh, a laser jet printer, so I don't have to worry about it smearing. If you're going to be using a, uh, an inkjet, I suggest sealing it. Use a spray sealant like a crystal coat to seal all of those pigments down, because otherwise they will run. Um, I did get a little bit of streaking from the dilutions underneath, 
um, and that's just because I didn't get a perfect coat of the crystal coat to cover each and every single inch of this page. Um, but it, it wasn't enough to really affect it. So I glued down, collage down the legs, and then um, just trying to place everything to find out where it's going to go. And the banner I just glued right in the middle. So you'll see I'm doing that right there. I just glued that straight down. And now we're going to glue her top half on. Now, um, I, you, I really suggest you guys check out the other videos in my description down below. And you'll just want to click on the first link in the video, and then you will um, go to the next video. You'll want to do that for every video you watch. So um, I suggest you go do it. Again, if you're not a fan of nudity, if body parts offend you, I, I don't suggest you watch them. Just click away now. It's totally fine. We can still be friends in another video. So this is my white uh, pen, Signo, and um, it's like dead. So <laughs> what I did was I took a little bit of white India ink, squirted it onto my mat, and then dipped it into it because the pen was dead, but I wanted that fine tip. And it worked really well, by the way. Worked great as an applicator. So this is a Stabilo, that same Stabilo black pen, and um, after I went around her in white, I sketched black around the white. So that way, the white and the black kind of both help to define her from the background because it's such a busy background. And then yet again, more journaling. Um, that's just my thing lately. I've been really liking doing journaling on my pages. Um, I don't think about my handwriting. I don't think about what it looks like. I try to make it as sloppy as possible, and I, the sloppier it gets, the better it looks to me. So, And I think this pen was a Prisma pen. I liked it. It worked well. So this is some, uh, not cheesecloth, it's from France Papillon, um, cambric. So this is a little bit of cambric. I just stapled it down and then I used, um, it was my Tim Holtz tiny attacher, as you see there. I was trying to see if I could get it into the middle of the page. I could not. A couple black feathers. And I'm going to staple them right on there, too, because I'm lazy. And these are some paper flowers I've had for a few years now. The store I got them from is no longer in business, as is the case in most cities, I would imagine. And uh, so I decided I was going to do this, like, layered look with these flowers. At first I was going to do this, like, splotchy look, and then I thought, oh, the background's already so splotchy. We'll just uh, we'll make them nice and dark. So again, I'm using Funky Fuchsia and Calypso Teal in Dilutions, and then I stapled them all together. And as you can see, the two back ones I kind of turned, so that way they filled it in and it made like one big complete flower. So now this is Lumiere, and uh, it's a Lumiere paint. I want to say it's called Super Sparkle, something like that. So it goes on looking almost silvery, as you can see right there, but once it dries, that silvery color goes away and it just becomes sparkle, and it is stunning. I love it. Really love it. So, uh, yeah, that might be a, a new favorite paint. So then I e 6000 it down, and that was it. This is the page. Uh, I did put a couple spikes in the middle, because Gaga spikes. Hello. So that just kind of rounded out and kind of made that flower a little edgy. Plus, it was a kind of a reference to the female anatomy. You know, the flower, and but then the spikes, because females are badass. You don't mess with ladies. So, I hope you guys liked this one. And uh, make sure you check out the other guys' videos, and I will be seeing you soon. I will talk to you later. Bye!